What's going on everyone? So you already know it is day seven of the daily UI design challenge. So task for today was to create a settings option. So ideally it was the one I decided to go with is a mobile app. And here's the uh, completed version. I'll move over here to the left and show you the uh, initial one. And uh, this one's more like a dark mode. This one, if you understand simple shapes, you could easily make this yourself. But uh, I guess I can show you the coloring. I just made a little component right here. So in case I wanted to um, change this, I could. So if I, I were to go like uh, hit with that gray to make it like it's off, I could do that too. But I'm going to turn it on since it's technically on dark mode. And then the style here, I wanted to do kind of like a blackout where it wasn't like perfectly the same as the background but you can clearly tell like it pops out sort of like a 3d effect up here this this top here it's one one it's like almost black but um it's not actually black and then the background right here I, i've been using 222 lately for this one but again that's just my preference you obviously know other colors but here it's pretty simple this is um right here it's a it's just a rectangle with the curved uh sides corners and then i just added a circle on top and if you look really closely it's uh pixel spacing i did one that's for my design obviously if you have a different one that you can do your own but i'm showing you little um tweaks here and there and then i have the other other stuff right here and just note if this is your first time watching my channel i'm basically documenting myself doing ux ui design so if you do want to follow along that journey go down below and hit that subscribe button give this video a thumbs up and then comment down below if you are getting started with ux ui or you're already an expert definitely love to hear that but um back on here i'm gonna show you really quick here this pretty simple too is just a um rectangle box again and i think i did um pretty sure i used eight for the corners Five to five to ten. I mean, pretty uh similar, and then I just add the like the shadow, the shadow effect to where it, it kind of like pops out. So you can clearly, depending on your um where you're watching this, you might not be able to see, but um, you can see like it has a little like three dimension effect right here, and that's like the shadowing, and then uh the text. I think I just open sans. Yeah, open sans. Just typical basic text here, and then what I did for these three is I would uh so this one is sixty eight. And then this one is 204. So let me double check if um 24 by by yeah. So basically you just times it by three and you'll get this right there. And that's how I made it sure that the spaces was even. And then I added a line in the middle, if I can click it, and it's just one, it should be just size one for the um thickness. And that's just like a little darker shade. Actually, I think I matched it with the background. Yeah, it's matched with the background. So it's like very, very, very subtle. I thought that looked pretty cool. And then um, there's typical text with the buttons. And then these are custom I made. I already have like built-in, um, like I downloaded a Google material, I think. or I downloaded one of the um, logo packs, so they icon thing. So you can uh, just drag and drop. I use icon jar. I'm right now on the trial so that you can easily drag and drop into the thing. But basically what I did is uh, these are 24 by 24 rectangles. And then I just simply, so if I can go here, I'll duplicate it. If you were to take out this, it's just the rectangle. And then I just added the um, icon in between, made sure the facing is even. And then that's what I just did. Rinse and repeat for each of these little logos here. And then you go down here too. It's the same exact concept. And then I got the um, bottom icons here. And I had a little cur curvature right there. So then zooming out, going to here. Now you can see it's more like three-dimensional. And the pain right here was that uh, the mock one that I used, they have this thing for the 11, iPhone 11, where it's like this part right here. And when I was trying to do the masking and like uh, trying to cut it out for the frame, it just was not happening. So what I had to do was essentially create like my own set and like copy and paste it outside of the frame and i ended up figuring out how to do it to where it molded with the um the shape on this thing here but it took me forever to figure that out but once i did it now it looks pretty clean and i just zoom out boom there you go and this is just a um it's just an image off of like i think it's pixabay or unsplash and other than that that's pretty much the design for the settings page today i think it looks pretty uh clean and crisp 
and any feedback would be definitely appreciated. But aside from that, this is the update for today. So if you are new to the channel again, definitely hit that subscribe button. Follow me on this journey. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And I will see you in the next one.